what's going on guys we are back here with a video today i'm doing something that i've done before this year and it's the third installment of my bet 365 bet guide for the ufc and for this event jan blahovic takes on Corey anderson basically deciding the new number one contender for john jones's title or that's what it was thought to be but now Reyes has put his name again in the hat for a rematch because the fight was so damn close with many pundits and professionals saying that Reyes had won the fight. In my opinion, I had Reyes, but who am I to tell you that? Nonetheless, let's go over my main event bet picks. Now, like I said in episode number one, we will always pick a main event. So for my main event, my betting mind goes straight to the decision. Now, Corey Anderson is coming off a first round finish of Johnny Walker so that is immediately going to put some recency bias in the minds of the odds makers alike so nonetheless you actually get some good value for over in the rounds department on bet 365 with that in mind my pick is Corey versus Jan over three and a half rounds you're not even going too far into deep water with this so I got ten dollars on that that is my part of my first bet I'm actually parlaying that combining that with Jim Miller, who I thought would have been the favorite coming into this fight. I think some people have put their money on Holtzman a little bit later on, so the lines have switched a little bit, and now he is the favorite. So I'm going to take Jim Miller as the underdog in this fight to come out with a decision victory, but I'm just going to put the money down in my parlay for Jim Miller to come out with the win. I'll be happy with any way that he does it. So that improves the odds of the over 3.5 rounds and makes a $10 bet an estimated payout of 38 so i'm thinking that's good value for only getting two correct picks now for my second bet i'm gonna get a little bit more i'm gonna get a little bit more crazy i'm only gonna take one bet here and this is going to be my main event prediction i'm gonna take Corey anderson this time in a very specific way i'm gonna take Corey anderson via decision because i do think this fight's going to make it there. If you look at their combined records, they almost always go to decision. In their last 10 wins between the two competitors, they've gone to a decision 60% of the time. So I think that I'm getting some value here with Corey Anderson by decision. They have it up at plus 175. They have Corey Anderson, the favorite, at minus 270. But I'm going to take the decision, which will give mine, will give mine an underdog feel to it which is just going to guarantee more money for your boy. Now, I've been doing pretty decent on this. My wallet has gone up since our first episode. We go into this event with 276.41 in the bank after starting with 200. So we're going to see if we can bank on those. Again, here are my final picks. You can take a look at those now, but that'll do it for me today. I hope you guys cash out on this event and get some good money get some find some good value picks let me know in the comment section below if you have your own definite bet for this event but remember to smash that like button subscribe to combat sports central and that'll do it for me today peace out guys